Begin tonight with our decision 2020 political coverage debate night, if we can call it that, whatever that was. The first face off tonight in the presidential race between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. Candidates speaking on a handful of topics voters are going to take to the polls. Right now, KWWL's Vinny Lowry is live here in the studio with a recap. And Vinny, yes, mm -hmm. quite a night. Well, I mean, Ron, we were talking about it, and this could be one of the biggest nights of the year for both candidates and the future of their campaigns. President Trump and former Vice President Biden talking on COVID-19, the economy, Supreme Court, and much more. However, every topic became fiery with both candidates talking over one another. The you question is, the question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your so list? Right. Gentlemen, is, I think this we've is ended so this. He's going to pack the court. We have end, oh, no, not no. going to give a list. We have ended this segment. Each candidate tonight got two minutes on five different moderated segments. The first topic for both candidates is the future of health care. Former Vice President Biden backing a modified version of the Affordable Care Act and President Trump announcing an executive order just days ago with pre-existing conditions. And the two clashing over pres prescription drug prices tonight. Drug prices will be coming down 80 or 90 percent. You could have done it during your 47-year period in government, but you didn't do it. He hasn't lowered drug costs for anybody. He's been promising a health care plan since he got elected. He has none, like almost everything else he talks about. He does not have a plan. And COVID-19 also a main topic with over 200,000 deaths in the U.S. President Trump saying a vaccine could be here in weeks, while former Vice President Biden talks about giving more funds to businesses to open safely. We should be providing all the protective gear possible. We should be providing the money the House has passed in order to be able to go out and get people the help they need to keep their businesses open. Open schools, it cost a lot of money. We got the gowns, we got the masks, we made the ventilators. You wouldn't have made ventilators. And now we're weeks away from a vaccine. We're doing therapeutics already. Fewer people are dying. Another segment included race and violence within American cities. President Trump bolstering his stance on using federal resources to quell protests and Biden clarifying that he is not in favor of defunding the police. They heard we were coming in the following day and they put up their hands and we got back Seattle. Minneapolis, we got it back, Joe, because we believe in law and order, but you don't. And I'm, not, I'm totally opposed to defunding the police officers. As a matter of fact, police, local police. The only one defunding in his budget calls for a $400 million cut in local law enforcement assistance. They need more assistance. And there was plenty of other topics discussed tonight, but one thing is for sure, it gives the American people a beginning insight on their choice coming this November. Abby, Ron. All right, Vinny, hey, thank you very much. And as of tonight, 35 days now until November 3rd. And this was the first of three presidential debates planned. The next debate is supposed to be October 15th. Now, Senator Kamala Harris and Vice President Mike Pence will also have their own debate. That is coming up on the 7th of October.